He's not very bright, is he? I mean, yeah, sure, that's fun, and that'll almost kill you. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Plasma, and today I'm going to show you how to make a trap out of redstone that you can do in survival for the Warden. Unfortunately, despite his best efforts and the amount of damage he can do, he's not very bright. So let's take a look at what I got here. So here's a command you can give yourself. To not have to worry about the Warden on survival. So if you do this, and you put it on repeat, always active, so this will force you to always have that amount of health. And so now, I'll always have this number of hearts. You can hit me all day, I don't care. There you go, there you go, and again. There you go, good job. So it doesn't really matter. So, pretty straightforward. If you want to play with them on survival, that's how you do it. I also recommend you do this as well. I also recommend you give yourself um, effect clear at a darkness. And if you do that, then you won't have to worry about the light problems anymore. Do repeat, always active. And so those two, that'll keep it so that it's never dark. Okay, I'll have those commands in the description, but it's hilarious. Yeah, so, word to the wise, if you're looking for a way to deal with the warden, they don't like redstone, or at least they're not very smart when it comes to slime blocks. So let me go ahead and show you how I did this. So, if we go down, let's go to Spectator, actually. If you go down here, all you have to do is have some slime going up and down. And if you make it hit, oh, it killed him. I guess taking that damage eventually was going to catch up to him. And so all you really need to do at this point is come up with a way to, like, bait him in using trapdoors or something. Maybe use a block that falls. I mean, I could do, like, something on top of signs. I think. So if I go... Signs... place carpet like over here you big dummy hey right here all you got to do is bait him over here Look, now he's stuck in. Oh boy, that was quite the knock. But, um, yeah. That actually worked. But yeah, see, now he's stuck in there. You're not very bright, are you? <laughs> Redstone, man. Redstone's the answer to everything. So here's an interesting way to subdue the warden. So if you have a command block here that is merging into his data, this on ground is zero, it just kind of pacifies him. So I, this in a 20 block radius is going to find the nearest one and it's going to add this on ground to zero. And so if I go and I summon the warden, and I can even go on survival, and I can just be like, bonk. He just kind of takes it. It's weird. You use something on your shirt. Oh, ha <laughs> got you. Yeah, he just kind of takes it. I'm on survival and everything. You know if I go on this and I uh, put it on Reed Needs Redstone so it's not functioning, you know I'm basically going to be dead, right? He's going to be angry. But as soon as he gets within that radius... So let's say, for example, I were to take him off like this. And, uh... Come here. Come here. So now he's angry and aggressive. Over here, he's going to be angry and aggressive. But um, if I bait him over to it, as soon as he enters this radius, he will be pacified. Get over here. Come on. See, he's like, rawr. I'm like, ah, don't kill me. As soon as he gets right around here within that 20 block radius, he just kind of, his brain just kind of shuts down. He's even confused because he's on the border here. But yeah, for some reason, when you run that command, it just stupefies him. Bonk. He doesn't, I could hug him. He just doesn't do anything. Subscribe if you haven't. That's all I got for today. I'll give you one last look at it. 
All you have to do is do some redstone. I did a three by three, and you need to have, give or take, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish blocks, just to make sure he can't climb out of it. Six or seven blocks. That's it. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.